Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game number four in your second final series this evening. Oh, I got a little bit of a pause champ right there. Hold on a minute. Yeah, pause champ. Pause Ooh. champ. We're gone. I'm, I'm... Oh. Are Don't we worry, back? guys. We'll be back. We're coming back. Are if you we guys coming can back? hear us, please put a pause <laughs> champ in the chat if you can hear us. Oh, they we're can back. Hear. We're back. All right, I'm going to introduce it again for the for the fellas in the back who didn't hear it the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game number four in your second best of seven grand final series for the August monthly finals. Spawning in on the west side of the map, playing in the color red as the Rus, we've got Wham01. On the other side of the map, now down one game is Lucifron7. The first time he is down actually in this series, he's either been leading or was tied up with Wham so far. He is going to be in command of the Holy Roman Empire in blue. All right. Well, let's take a look and see how the game unfolds. I'm curious as to whether we're going to see any Tower Rush shenanigans on this map. It is notorious for being, you know, they talk about not putting baby in the corner. This is the map that they talk about it on because I tell you what, when it comes to putting people in the corner, it is very easy to do here. And it doesn't look like we're going to see any Tower Rushes today coming out from Wham. Something that we have seen before, Casper in particular, infamous for doing it with the Rus on this map. A very easy, uh, very easy to pull off as well because outposts for the Rus or wooden fortresses for the Rus, the Rus rather, a little bit, uh, well, let's just say, they're better than the outposts of the enemies. They are. In fact, you mentioned before the game the name of Salami, who explained why the Rus could be so, so good on this map when it comes to the shorefish. But he also has an interesting concept about an upgrade that goes underappreciated on the wooden fortress, that is castle turrets. A Dark Age upgrade costing you 75 stone, which gives you plus two attack for every single arrow fired out of the tower. It actually juices it up even more so. So, as you said, Roost Tower is already much more powerful than the ordinary towers of other civilizations, but that is even without using the castle turrets upgrade, which just makes them monsters. He has shown me a game which just showcased how ridiculously powerful those towers were. All right, well, I'm looking forward to it. If there's anything we need more of in Age of Empires 4, it's towers. There's just not enough of them. So hopefully that's going to be what uh, what promotes people to go up for it. But uh, we got an Arkham Chapel coming down for Lucifron in the back of his base. And this is an interesting spot back here. It's right on the stone. Is this yeah. indicative of, of a second town center, potentially? Very likely. But at the bare minimum, it could act as a decoy. It's possible he's placing it there, though rather unlikely, I think. It's possible he's placing it there to just make his opponent think he's going for stone and then just use it on the wood. But I think, indeed, as you're saying, it's more likely that he's just going for the stone with that. And we have seen an emergence of the two TC builds of the HRE. And we're going to see one of those here from Lucifron. Could possibly see the second TC being dropped quite rapidly on the pawns. Yeah, that would be a great spot for them. Let's have a look and see over on the ponds if we've got any decent candidate spots. Uh, interesting to note that Lucifron's ponds look a lot better than Wham's. Wham looking a little bit dry over on that side of the map. Let's take a look down. Oh my lord, look, look at, at that. If you've ever seen a... That is just... Oof. That's a craigasm right there if I've ever seen one. Now, th this is a nice sized pond as well. There's plenty of fish in this, but it's very far away from the main town center. I mean, the pawns of Lucifer are also pretty far away. Generally, I think this map generation is weird because the pawns for both players are much further away than usual. Usually you have much closer pawns here. So we've been treated with a slightly different Frisian marshes than we commonly see, I guess. Yeah, and we do see plenty of villagers here on stone. So it's definitely going to be that second TC. Also moving sheep over uh, to the Arkham Chapel. It does now act as a drop-off point, so... Makes it extra, extra nice to use for the Holy Roman Empire here, but looks like Lucifer's going to be chasing away Wham scouts for now. He says, get on out of here. Wham, doing what Wham does best on the Rus. He's going to be looking to isolate the villagers on that Arkham Chapel. He's going to be coming forward and looking to drop down a wooden fortress, I suspect. Yeah, it looks like we're coming in for a tower rush, and it's a very heavy tower rush that we have over here. Super aggro Wham, something that we haven't really seen today yet. In the first couple of games, he was just playing essentially very much meta. But it is often talked about that Wham is one of the more aggro players out there. We haven't really seen much of that just yet. This is the first instance that he's really going aggressive at the beginning of the game. 
Pixel perfect placement from Wham01 here today. Take a look at this. The line of sight for Lucifron quite literally ends exactly where that wooden fortress begins. That now, is... one of the tell signs for this might be that the road gets connected between the mining camp and the wooden fortress of his enemy. So let's see exactly what happens over there. And that, that could give away what, what is going on. Yeah, so far Lucifron doesn't seem to be reacting. He's just busy moving out for pawns. But given the big distance, it's going to be much worse than before. And it's not going to be the path giving it away. It's just going to be the villagers casually mining your gold mine, Lucifron, that give away the presence of that tower. Yeah, what are those vill- Hold on a minute, that's not your gold. That is exactly what Lucifron's thinking. And taking a look at his gold mines, where is the next gold that he goes to? Because we have a look at Wham's base. Wham's got a beautiful back gold towards that sort of top side of his base. But when you compare it to Lucifron, his next gold is, well, it's covered by the outpost or the wooden fortress. Yeah, this is weird. And now here's the deal. Look at the resources of Wham before we think about the second thing. He has enough for a tower or a town center rather very soon. Is it going to be a forward TC? I can't even ask the question because he's going to do that forward TC by Wham. How about that? That is absolutely wild. But but why though? It, why though? It, it, this, the TC gets cancelled. He says, I'm going to stick it a little bit closer to the, to the gold mine. A, a villager also went down from Lucifer. And obviously, he's got the second TC already up. Why though? It's the fortification potential, I think. I think he's scared that the tower could be easily taken down, but the tower and the town center is just a little too much together. And you cut the HRE off from gold in Feudal Age, they are in deep trouble. How do you deal with a tower that's already very powerful, supported by a town center behind it? And keep in mind that Lucifer might not have access to gold at all, because Vam also has three scouts roaming the map, so he can easily spot any kind of expansion towards gold from his opponent. I agree, it's a little wacky from Wham, and I'm not exactly sure if this is worth it, but I kind of see the concept behind it at least. Hmm. All right, well, we'll watch how Wham does this. Oh, oh, that, okay, that's interesting. Forward stable, forward double stable. We see a barracks coming down as well for Lucifron in the radius of the Arkham Chapel. What is typically considered a cardinal sin by many a base builder, by many a <laughs> Sin City player. Good, good man. I'm gonna clap that. That's a that's a golf clap right there. If I've ever seen one, cancels the barracks within the radius of the Arkham Chapel. That's a golf clap. Indeed. Uh, on the other hand, though, look at that. He's moving out towards the gold mine. But the thing is that he canceled the barracks, which is great. Space not be taken away from the Arkham Chapel. But it also means that he doesn't have a single spearman to defend against those knights with. He's rushing out with multiple towers, though. This will be seen by Wham. But the towers should go up before the first knight arrives, and this is why that. Kind of wacky forward TC was weird because I don't think it was realistic to completely deny Lucifer off from gold forever. Yeah, it definitely seems that way. Now, he's going to be able to deny this gold mine as well. It's just he's going to need to find the correct position for it. There's a spot up here that he can look to drop down an outpost or a wooden fortress on. It's on the other side of the gold mine, though. So we'll look and see if he does that yeah, successfully. Here it goes. Another preemptive tower could come in here, but the price to pay for this gold mine is massive for Lucifron. It's just so expensive for him to defend this. Yeah, I don't think these villas are going to be able to get in here and do so unharmed. We don't see any sign of uh, of uh, arrow slits coming through just yet. Looks like the villagers are doing a little bit of a cheeky chop. No, they're doing a chop. Look at this. Beautiful. Wonderful position. Now, that outpost, I'm not sure whether it's in range. We do see the arrow slits coming through. Let's see if he looks to fire down upon the villagers. Hasn't done so yet. Looking to try and... Oh, oh there we go. Is he hitting the vills? Uh, oh, he's yes, hitting he the vills. He's hitting the vills. First one goes down. Second villager. They, they're going to have to fall back. They're all getting focused down. So he's going to have to do a bit of a run around towards this northern side. You can see the the, uh, the wood line is, is kind of like all... all yeah, it's it's very long. Up Look at that. that position. Yeah. He's going to have to find his a way through the maze. But eventually, he will find that spot. Now the wall coming through from Lucifer. He knows exactly <laughs> oh. what's coming. So smart. Oh, such a weird game over here. Ton of aggression coming in here for Vam. But he's struggling to find an angle because the map generation is so wacky over here with all these small forests connected to one another. Yeah, now the run through going to be coming. And he does eventually find a spot for that wooden fortress. Now keep in mind... The arrow slits has come through for Lucifer, so he might be able to fire down upon these. 
Both of these outposts do have arrow slits. Let's see. And he's going to be rushing up another outpost as well. The knight's coming forward as well as the horseman. Does a nice little ring around the rosy. Begins to focus down the villagers. First one does go down. He's still trying his best to take out more villagers. But it looks like that outpost will get up and he should be able to secure this gold. Villagers going to have to fall away from this position. The wooden fortress gets cancelled. And now he heads back to square one. I don't know if that next tower is going to be in range, but he's going to deny the shorefish from his opponent. He's shifting focus, understands that he might not be able to deny the gold, but how about trying to deny the food? That is something that Lucifer has sufficient of to go up to Castle Age with, but look at that. Super aggro Oof. towers coming in here. Villager is also not noticed to be slain. Yeah, double villager going down there underneath the TC. Actually, quadruple. Good game gets caught. Lucifer taps out. Barely 10 minutes into the game, he says, you know what? There's no chance. The wooden fortress is way too strong. I don't know what to say about this, Aussie. One could argue that this was a bit of a premature GG, maybe even Tilt being in the mix, because it's not like Lucifer's position was bad. It's not like it was great either, but you get the feel that you just moved Wham onto match point over here in a game less than 10 minutes of a length, actually more like 11 minutes length, but still, the two DCs worked. The gold mine was relatively secure. He had the food for Castle Age. You can understand why Lucifer decided to tap out of this one, but I really feel like he has given away a very easy win here to Wham possibly. That point came in too easily, I feel like, for Wham in such a valuable best of seven. Yeah, well, I look, you know, earlier I asked the question, why would somebody pick Rus on this map? And Beastie said, well, that's because you pick Rus on every map. They're insanely good. Uh, and uh, I can't help but feel like, I mean, that that's exactly it, right? Maybe he... Like, one thing we have to keep in mind is that we have God Vision. We 